Hi, I'm Steve Tonkin. I'm an Applications Engineer for Simbet Corporation. And today I'm demonstrating the Simbet Texas Instruments Energy Harvesting Data Logger demonstration. We have here the Texas Instrument 430 Value Line Launchpad Kit. And this is the board that comes inside of it. We also have the Simbet Eval 10, CBC Eval 10 uh, Solar Energy Harvesting Kit which comes with a solar cell and an evaluation board. Now to start this demonstration, first of all, the launch pad board comes with no part in it. So you need to install the MSP430G2231 part in the board. Then you can go to the simbit.com website and you download the application, build it, and using the Texas Instruments development tools, download the application so you have the data logger application built on your launch pad. At that point you disconnect the USB cable and this is very important you need to disconnect the VCC jumper in this little jumper field here and the reset jumper to prevent any draining of power into the debugging section of the launch pad board. Now after you've installed your solar cell to the EVAL 10 board and the, ins the accompanying flat flex connector with VCC on pin 5 to the gray conductor here. We bring that around and we plug that into this three terminal with VCC and ground pins aligned and two pins hanging off the end. Now you can see the applications running, the lights are blinking saying that it's in ready to go mode and we're going to start logging temperature data by pressing this button. I press that and you see a green light blinking each time the internal temperature has been taken by the MSP430 part. We'll let that run and for a little bit more interesting data as some cold shot, we'll hit it, pull it down and get a little temperature variation in some of the data. Now going back to the EVAL 10 kit this solar cell can recharge the inner chips on board the evaluation kit in 200 lux light. It's normal indoor lighting. You have two inner chips, a CBC 3150 and a CBC 050. The first chip has integrated power management and the second part is just a battery that is, is also connected to that energy uh, management circuitry. This board then has 100 microamp hours of power, which is running the data logger right now. Now I'm going to put my finger on here to warm it up a little bit. And we're still seeing the green lights blinking. It's taking the sample every two seconds. And the software is keeping the 430 part asleep almost all the time, except when it wakes up to blink the light, take the temperature data, and put it into its flash memory. Now it'll take 32 samples, the way the program's built now and you can see the red light blinking, that means it's full. So now what we'd like to do is read the data out. So we'll disconnect the flat flex cable. We need to reinstall the two jumpers that we took out so that the USB connection can work and power can come through the USB connection with this launch pad board. I'll now plug in the USB cable can see we're getting power now from the computer and what I'll do is I'll bring up a terminal emulating program I'm using TerraTerm right now and I will connect it to a serial port and by selecting COM15 that's the MSP430 port emulator. At this point I'll press this button to dump the data out. As you can see we've got a series of hex bytes coming out that each represent an eight, the upper 8 of the 10-bit ADD converter that was logged in the flash memory. You can see a high number is high temperature. We hit it with a cold temperature. It went down and came back up. Now I can push the reset button and bring that data out again. The two lights alternately blinking I mean it's ready to read out again. We can try that again. It'll repeat the same data. And to clear the data, we reset it and we hold this button down for over three seconds. What will happen then, you see the lights blink a few times, it'll read the data one more time, and if we try to read it out again, you'll just see two zeros come out indicating that it's empty and it's ready to do another data logging application. 
the uh, the parts for this are all available online at um, Mouser, Avnet, and DigiKey. And the you can go to our website at simbet.com for information on how this works. There's an app note, AN1050, and that will get you going on building your energy harvesting data logger. Thank you.